today we celebrate the 22nd Saturday in Ordinary Time. And our theme for this Sunday is obeying God's commandment with a pure heart. Moses reminded his people of the commandment of God and urged them to be steadfast, to eat in order to be successful in life. We must not live a hypocritical life. Right from the beginning, and of course this now prepares the gist of today's um, reflection, that there is a possibility that we are we are in church, uh, and we said this the other time, eh? that we are in church but not in Christ. Meaning that uh, our life, our life is not very straight. Maybe the question we need to ask is, for us and for our brothers and sisters, at what point would we say that a hypocritical attitude is creeping in us? Now, many are the times that maybe even in Jumuiyas, you met people, their work and their preoccupation is only to correct you. Ah, your Bible may soma, how get soma here? The way, the, way, the way you are reading, you should have been a bit loud. So all the time, all the time you meet, the people are correcting you. That's a hypocrite. Number four. A hypocrite <clears throat> puts more importance in man-made tradition. Man-made tradition. Tunasema nizire sheria za vijiji. It is not about God. It's about men and women, their tradition, their cultures and practices. That can be sad. Number five. A hypocrite's heart is very far from God and very close to the people who uh, to the people who always validate them authenticate them and give them accolades even when they are wrong so then we ask what do we need to do to be good christians men and women of god led and guided by the word of God and the Holy Spirit. To sum all those things, we need one virtue to cultivate, and that is humility. Humility allows us to listen to our brothers and sisters, identify their weaknesses, but stand firm and knowing that uh, my dear sister may have done it better than she did, but she is a human being. And being a human being means that uh, what is happening in, in, in my life and her life is the same. So I must, I must be in the forefront of helping my brothers and my sisters. Dear good people, there is nothing as good, nothing as good as men and women who embrace humility, appreciate who they are, what they are, and in their deficiency, they see Christ. On the same side, eh, nothing as painful as Christians, men and women, 
who have never realized their weaknesses. We always say that once one way of knowing that we are developing and maturing is when we have known two things. One, our weaknesses. And number two, our strong points. If all the time we are thinking about how she is fading, how he is fading, how that is happening, and the other one, then we miss the point. Because at the end of the day, it will not be about them. It will be about how I engage with them. Then I ask, in all humility, I accept who my brothers and sisters are. And if I can, I help them to be the people that God would want them to be. If only we can be busy helping our brothers and sisters to realize their dreams and be who God wants them to be. Because the absence of that, we can only be good Christians, but hypocrites. Very sad. Very sad. I don't remember this. 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 I don